Hey, what's going on guys? I have studios here for another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do compositing with After Effects. Um, so yeah, this video was requested by a subscriber. It's a little bit off topic, but I try and fulfill all subscriber requests um, as best as I can. So um, yeah, it's going to be basically a beginner uh, tutorial to compositing in After Effects. So we're going to have a look here <clears throat> at our footage, and I'm just going to begin here by going down to my resolution and setting it to half because um, it'll mean that it'll, it'll be easier to edit, especially on slower computers. <clears throat> you might want to bring this down to third or even quarter resolution, depending on your computer, so you can preview it in a uh, high frame rate. So if we just scrub through here, uh, it's very simple, kind of just, you know, going um, kind of camera panning around my kitchen table, nothing special. Um, let's have a look at the, we're gonna just, so we're gonna make that invisible, make that invisible. Bring in the uh, animation part here that I have, um, done in Cinema 4D. <clears throat> and having a look here, this thing is, it's the same, it's matched, it's all tracked in. Um, <clears throat> if you guys want me to make a tutorial on tracking or maybe animating this kind of stuff in Cinema 4D, then um, please leave a comment and I will try and fulfill those requests. Um, okay, so adding the two together, <clears throat> we have, you can see here, um, it looks okay I'm already adding it on top right here, but it's it's really not realistic. It's really not composited well. It doesn't look like it fits in. It kind of feels like it's sitting on top of, you know? So um, there's a lot of things we're going to do to change this. Um, <clears throat> now, the first thing we're going to do, go to your effects and presets and search exposure. Exposure. And you can see here, we're going to use the color correction one. Drag it onto here. And this is the first step in compositing. Always make sure that your exposure is visually matched. So we're going to increase the exposure a little bit here. And let's have a look. So... How does this look? Um, so you want to just play with the exposure here. Maybe your animation is too bright or too dark. And you want to play with your exposure to make sure that it matches. Just kind of go off your eye, really. There's no right answer here. Kind of, you know, you just kind of go off your eye, what you think visually kind of matches. So I think visually, you know, this kind of matches <clears throat> like that. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse my cough. Okay. The gamma correction, if you want, you can play with this. Um, it's... It's gamma. You, you just play around with it. You'll figure out what it does. Basically, I'm not going to try to explain it. It'll just take forever. Um, you can play with this. Maybe increase the gamma a little bit for this particular scene. Increase the gamma a little bit. Increase the exposure. Just kind of play with that. Something like that is looking pretty good. Okay, now you have your exposure done. What you want to do, the next thing, we're going to grab some curves. That is not supposed to pop up when I'm recording. Okay, color correction curves. We're going to grab that. Let's take it underneath. Now, you can tweak your... Um, brightness a little bit here, channel RGB. So what I'm going to do is, um, I think that my shadows are a little bit too, too uh, dark. So we're going to just kind of change the shadows up here. And we can, you can see we can increase the brightness here of the shadows a little bit. I'm going to add another uh, thing like there. Okay. So we can kinda, you can see here, we can kind of tweak the brightness of the shadows by adjusting this little bottom thing here. We're going to make sure that you have two little squares there. And you can kind of tweak the brightness of the shadows. So you know what? Oh, I don't want too much brightness, so <clears throat> I'm going to increase that a l just a little bit like, <clears throat> brighten the shadows a little bit like that, just to make it a little bit more matching. Now, this is kind of the fault of when I was doing it in Cinema 4D, you know, the actual lighting for the scene is a bit more soft. In Cinema 4D, I used a harsher light. You know, that's going to depend on the kind of quality of work you do in your animation program, but, you know, we're going to have to work with it from here, so, yeah, brighten our shadows maybe a little bit more like... Try and keep that normal. Try and keep the actual color normal. But uh, change the shadows. It's just like that. Good enough. Um, now, I know that I did a pretty good job in Cinema 4D of matching the colors. Um, but if the colors don't match, if it's like the kind of, like, you know, because my, my kitchen table here, it's got kind of a, um, like, how should I describe it? Kind of like a warm feeling to it. Um, if you're not having that kind of warm feeling once you're done your animation, you're going to want to tweak that as well. So we can go here. If we want a kind of warm orange feeling, um, orange is made up of, we can use red and green for that. So we're going to go to red. Crank up the red a little bit. Just a very little bit. Crank up the green just a little bit. And that'll give it a more kind of, you, know, you can see here, a little, a little bit more of a gold golden color, which kind of matches it a little bit better. Now, I'm going to decrease this a little bit more. I'm going to decrease this a little bit for my scene because I realized that I did a good job in After Effects or in Cinema 4D of making the lighting um, realistic. But, you know, you're going to have to play around with this. So green... Red, green, and blue, and you want to kind of play around with these. Um, and down here in the bottom left corner, that's the shadows, the darkest parts of the image. I've been in the top right here. That's the highlights, the brightest parts of the image. 
and you kind of self-explanatory, you don't play around with this. Um, figure out what you need to change. Um, I think that, you know, I don't think I need to change too much here. Maybe change the highlights a little bit. You know, something like that. We don't need to do too much here. Okay, exposure, curves. Now, the next thing is um, hue and saturation. So let's we'll saturation, saturation. Color correction, hue slash saturation. We're gonna drag that in right there. Now, sometimes you need to make sometimes you need to make adjustments here. Sorry, um, sometimes you don't. Master hue um, might be a little extreme here, but you know you can, you can tweak that a little bit. Maybe depending in each direction, it's it's a pretty good way to kind of change the color of your scene or the color of your animation quite quickly. So maybe we'll set it to like plus five, maybe match it a little bit better. Okay, <clears throat> here we'll actually zoom. Ah, oh, whatever, we'll zoom out like that. Okay, we have that. Now, um, saturation, <clears throat> sorry, I find saturation sometimes, you know, maybe your animation is too saturated, it doesn't really fit, depending on, again, your camera. If your camera has a very saturated image, you might want to increase your saturation. If your camera's image is kind of desaturated, maybe feeling a little dull and colorless, that's too bad that your camera isn't, you know, great, but you're going to have to work with that, and you're going to have to decrease your saturation in the program. So I know I have an alright camera, but I'm going to decrease the saturation, maybe like 10. You don't always need to do this, you know, hopefully you don't need to do this, but I think it's going to help a little bit for this scene here. Uh, master lightness, I don't recommend playing with this. This is kind of like brightness, but if you're going to change brightness, just use exposure. Lightness, it's just kind of a disgusting brightening that it's it's not good. Like, you can use maybe a little bit if you want to, but like two, but I would recommend not playing with lightness, honestly. Okay, How about, there is a lazy way of compositing, which might help you a little bit. It's called CC Composite. We're going to drag it in here. Basically, what it does is it kind of blends the back image colors with the front, and it it wor it kind of works um, if you use like 15%. It does a little bit, like you can see here. It it does help it blend in a little bit more, feel a little bit more. Yeah, like we can do 25. Um, maybe it does help it feel a little bit more like it's in the scene. Now, um, another thing too is that my camera isn't great quality. It's kind of blurry. It's not you know not the best quality. It's only 1080p and it's not an amazing camera. It's not super sharp necessarily, um, but you can see our image here. It's it's, it's quite sharp. You know, it's, it's a very sharp um, animation, which is great, but um, it's not really matching the camera quality. So we're gonna have to use some grain. Okay, we're gonna use some add grain here. Um, and you know, you don't want too much grain, but like, you know, if you oh, look here, did I just move the thing? I just moved it. Okay, hold on. You know, you want to kind of match the grain a little bit. So we're gonna have a little look here. And you don't want tons of grain, but the first thing for add grain, uh, color, just make it monochromatic, it's best. Now, intensity, let's play around with this a little bit. 0.5, it's almost too much, 0.1, there we go. Size, that's way too big, hold on. Ah, eh, we'll use like 0.5, whatever, like that. Softness, well, we can make the noise a little softer. Uh, okay, and we'll set it to uh, final output. Now, if you have a look here, Adding the grain, it's, it's kind of subtle, in fact, maybe too subtle, hold on. 0.35 maybe, size, we'll try a size of one. And it it just, it kind of subtly decreases the quality of it, which is kind of what we want. Also, since it's very sharp, I'm gonna use a blur. Um, hold on, Gaussian blur. And we're not gonna use too much of this at all because otherwise it'll just look bad, but let's maybe see here, have a look at this. Use a blurriness of one. Is that even making much of a difference? Hang on. Put it over here. I'm going to set this to full. Hang on. <laughs> it's not actually making much larger of a difference. Okay, wait, if I increase it a lot. Okay, if I increase it a lot, it's, it's a lot. So we'll do 1.5. And what that'll do is it'll decrease the sharpness a little bit of it, but it'll help it feel more smooth and um, essentially blend it a little bit more into the scene. Now, this is looking all right already. Let's just scrub through this at half quality. Okay. You know, it, it looks all right. Um, but the thing is, here's what I find works really well. If you're trying to really make something fit in, right, we've changed the colors of the, you know, the, the actual object itself. But the number one thing as well that I find, um, which is very, very useful, is color grading both. So changing the color of both as well. So uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second here. We're going to go to new. Okay, we're going to add an adjustment layer. We'll drag it on top. 
Uh, whoops, we will rename that, call it color grading. In fact, we can just name everything here. I always recommend naming your things here. Naming your objects, we'll call this one um, object, and we will call this one base footage. <clears throat> okay, now you go to your composition here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing, bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, color grading. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color of the entire thing overall. So the way you do it then is we're gonna grab some um, curves, um, and I'm just going to apply it to the color grading here and we're going to give it a kind of teal orange for this one maybe so <clears throat> Sorry red. We're going to prioritize the the light reds a little bit increase that We're going to grab the greens Do that um, and it's kind of you can see here. It's making the entire image overall more, you know saturated and kind of um, You know what it looks like it's it's making it more uh, teal orange and saturated <clears throat> so we're doing that. That'll brighten it. That'll help really, really um, kind of bring out the, the feeling a bit more. Uh, if you want to, we can try some vibrance. I really don't think we need more vibrance here, but, you know, maybe increase the vibrance to, like, we'll try 50, because whatever, right? Um, and I think this is, <clears throat> you know, this is pretty, pretty all right composited, you know? For a beginner compositing, it's all right. Um, and I will show you... A finished result here at the end of the video um, I will show you a finished result of what this you know what this looks like rendered out um, but anyway if you guys have any requests for more tutorials um, you know related to this or completely unrelated to this uh, please do don't don't hesitate to leave a comment and ask me I'd be happy to fulfill any requests almost any request and um, yeah I will see you guys later bye